Hey guys, welcome back to Shane Complains. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Um, it's been really, really, really good to see that people are actually listening to me. Um, well, long story short, I really appreciate it. But anyway, I want to talk about the 10 year challenge. Me personally, first time when I think about that stuff, I mean, granted, I haven't changed much in 10 years. And like facial wise, my body wise, I haven't really changed that much. In ten years, um, I'm 33 now. I'll be 20. Uh, that'll be means I'll be. I was 23. But I, um, I see a lot of pictures. First of all, actually, what I, think, I want to talk about someone saying that people who have fake body parts won't be posting anything for the 10 year challenge. Of course, because if one in 10 years ago you didn't have a big butt, then all of a sudden you have a big butt now. You know, people are gonna ridicule you or say that yeah, you have fake butts or fake breasts or whatever. So anyway, um, I find that very funny. But the ten year challenge to me it is a good idea. You know, um, it's kind of in a sense another way for people to be in a certain extent vain. But to me, it is a good idea to see your progress from when you were younger to older. You know, because with age, um, you're wiser. Um, for some people, not all people, for some people. But anyway, um, it's really nice to see some of these pictures I'm seeing, people that made progressions. I mean, sometimes you only notice that they're younger, the picture's older, and then, you know, it's just a more updated picture, but the person says the same, but that means you're consistent with your good habits, in my mind. Um, but then, of course, like I said before, there are just people that made a lot of progress once they're younger, they didn't make it, they made, I guess, you know, they were, you know, doing regular old things, teenage things, but now they're, you know, older and wiser and doing, you know, making progression. They might have a suit on or, or a nice outfit on or something like that and a newer picture, which is good, showing that they they were successful. And it says, I see, because I don't look at, you know, I look at the details on every picture. When I see, when I look at pictures, you know, I know most people probably do. But it's very nice to see things like that, um, see people progress on and see people move on and develop and um, just be better. You know, um, I've, I've seen people from high school, you know, that either are still living in a high school mentality. Um, but I mean, me for, me for me to say high school, I'm 33. So 10 years ago, like I said, it's 23. But there are some people that are 33, mid 30s that are still living that high school mentality, you know, and, you know, honestly still living at home. You know, I don't think anything is wrong with that. Um, In my opinion, with the world, how the way the world is now, do I have a problem with people living at home in the mid thirties? No, I don't. But if you're living at home, you know, living with your parents, I just think it should definitely help out. You shouldn't be home not doing anything. I think you should pay a bill or pay half the rent or half the mortgage, you know, at least a fraction of it or something, you know, earn your keep in a sense, you know, um, you know, I could go on a tangent. I might, I could probably go on a tangent about that. You know, actually I will, I will, because it's kind of crazy. Some of the stuff that I've heard, um, one person, he was 32, he is 32, he's still alive. But his mother isn't. Um, he's actually in a town not near me, but close to me. He um, was upset his mom was trying to kick him out. So what did he do? He killed her. You know, um, then there's another one. A guy had the audacity, really, to sue his parents for kicking him out. Of course, he lost. You know, he was, I think, 30, maybe 32 himself, 35 or whatever he was. He was in his 30s. And he tried to sue his and he tried to um, sue his parents for kicking him out. You know, like I said, that there's people that are making progress, that are doing great things, and I applaud those people. You know, keep doing those great things, whatever it may be. It might be something small, but each small step is a step towards your bigger, bigger goal. You know, um, is this? I'm just really proud of people. And that's why I like to go on Facebook and not only because of the 10-year challenge, but I like to go on Facebook and see people, you know, 
announcing their, you know, pro- um, progress or accomplishments and everything. You know, a couple of people that, you know, in their 30s, about my age, they just finished their degree or, you know, maybe a doctorate or maybe the bachelor's. But to me, that's a big deal. You know, whatever prevented them before from getting their bachelor's or degrees, you know, it didn't stop them from getting it now. You know, some people take longer to reach their goals. Some people, you know, it's their own, that's their life. That's that's what they decide to do, whatever it is when they were younger. And now they're here where they are, you know, but it doesn't so much matter about the past. It matter what where they are now and what they're doing now. You know, I was also sometimes, you know, not sometimes, I was kind of guilty of doing, judging people from that, the stupid message, the stupid decisions or whatever in their past. But I'm learning to understand that the past is a matter, is what they do now. You know, and I'm really proud of everybody. Just keep getting better, keep changing, keep improving, and keep a positive mindset, guys, because whatever you BS, whatever crap you're going through, whatever excuse you might have to not do that or whatever, it doesn't last. The bullshit doesn't last. Okay, as long as you keep a positive mindset and you have a plan, you know, of course you have a goal. I need to have a goal. You need to have a goal first. But then with that goal, you know, you have a plan to get to that goal. You know, I'm really proud of everybody. Um, I'm not going to name names, of course. It'd be crazy. But I'm really proud of each and every one that's actually taking the time to, you know, um, post these things. But, you know, take the time to actually post your progress. And I'm seeing people that actually accomplish so many things and accomplishing even more you know um, one guy he's he's financially secure he's got properties he you know and I graduated him and he's um starting a drone business you know and it's you know you can't I'm not jealous at all of him you know he's probably making well over six figures but you know, honestly, I'm proud of them. I don't. I'm, I never get jealous of somebody making their money because they're hustling. They're doing what they need to do. They're using their tools and everything they got from life and from school and making money from it. You know, I'm really proud of people like these. I'm, you know, it, it, it empowers me, like my friends. Um, some of them are married now. You know, that encourages me. And it doesn't force me. I don't say it forces me to get married, but it it, it it makes me feel like I'm heading the right direction and I'm doing the right things, you know, to get married, you know, and uh, starting a family and, you know, um, making it six figures and all this kind of stuff, you know, and that's why you always, I think this, I don't know how to, I forgot the saying, but it's pretty much saying if you, you surround yourself with positive people or people that are goal oriented, you accomplish goals to accomplish your goal. Something to that effect. I forgot what the saying is. But pretty much long story short is we want to um, surround yourself with positive people and progressive people and goal oriented people, you know? You know, I'm not going to say positive because my friends do pick on me, you know, but in a good way. That's all in fun. Um, but yeah, guys, um, I just want to shout out all those people that that's made a lot of progress in their lives. It doesn't matter if it took 10 years. It doesn't matter if it, it's taken 15 or 20 years. I'm really proud of everyone that's keep that's been moving forward and progressing and getting better each and every day. It's not easy. It's not easy at all, you know, but you want to get off your comfort zone and you have a goal and you have plans to reach that goal. Anything is possible to stay, stay focused on that goal. All right. Anyway, guys, I hope all's well. Like I said many, many times before, you know, just keep moving forward. All right. And positive mind will reap positive results. Okay, guys, have a good one.